Now, I point that out because I think we've all had this experience. Maybe I'm the only self-centered person in the room. But, but frequently, if I'm not really intentionally focused on another person, I can drift back into my own little world, even if I'm standing talking with someone. If you see my eyes glaze over, you know, knock on the door, you're there coming. Um, but the older I get, the more I come to realize how important it is to be attentive to another person. A million times more so with Holy Scripture because Holy Scripture, I think, can rightly be received as not merely a written record, but the, but the written testimony of human persons who were living witnesses to this divine encounter Jesus Christ when he came to this earth. These are witnesses. And those of us who had any experience whatsoever in a, in a courtroom would realize witnesses are very important in a proceeding. And so we want to hear the, the witness's testimony. If we're in the jury, we want to know what did this person see and hear. If we have to make a judgment concerning some important issue, we want witnesses. We want people who can say, I was there, I saw this, I heard that. This is what we have in Holy Scripture. We have not merely a person talking about his, his um, opinions or thoughts or conjectures about things, but we have testimonies, especially the Gospels. We have testimonies of people. And in order to really hear them, we've got to intentionally pay attention, close attention. So on one hand, Lexio Divina is merely a method to help us be attentive, to be attentive to something that God is providing for our salvation, for our life. And so, Lexio has developed over the centuries into uh, something with four parts, four steps, you might say, Lexio, Meditatio, Oratio, Contemplatio. And the, the, the meanings of these words are very simply reading, meditating, or thinking, or pondering, uh, praying, and contemplate or resting. In these four steps, we have a methodology to help us listen so as to hear. That is, in Lexio, the first thing we want to do is slow down and listen to some passage in Scripture. We want to slow down and listen. So Lexio can give us some guidance how to do that and some encouragement, some self-discipline also to do that, to slow down and listen. Meditatio is ordered toward our hearing, our truly hearing what the scriptural author was trying to say, what he was communicating under the guidance of God's Holy Spirit. We want to listen so that we can hear, truly hear. And listening and hearing, we want to come to believe so that we can live, so that we can enter life. Oratio, or prayer, is then this encounter with God after listening, after trying to hear, to really hear. Then in prayer, we want to open our hearts and our minds, our souls, to what we have heard from God and seek believing. Seek this. Intend it, want it, desire it. Ask God for it. Ask God for the gift to believe and therefore to live according to his word that we've just heard. And in contemplatio, in contemplation, and I'll, I'll go over this again in somewhat more detail. In contemplatio, we would like this faith, this believing that we have invited and we have reached for and we've asked for, we would like it to really take root in ourselves. Remember the, the wonderful parable of the sower, Matthew's Gospel. Seed was thrown on many kinds of soil, right? The path, the rocky ground, the thorny ground, and finally the good ground. And it was only the good ground that brought forth fruit, because it was only the good ground that received the word deeply, that allowed that word to take root in the heart. Without obstruction, without 
choking weeds and the other obstacles that were in the first three types of soil. But in that good ground, the word took deep root, and so it could bring forth fruit. So in contemplatio, we want to really open our hearts that this word that we have perhaps begun to believe in after hearing, listening, hearing, praying, and hopefully coming into believing, we want it to be a deep believing that's going to endure it's not going to fall away when the sunshine of persecution and trial reaches us. It's not to, uh, to, to be rootless because of stones and rocky places in our hearts. It, it is not to be fruitless because of the entanglements and thorns and thorn bushes of this world. But rather, in a good heart, this word is to take root. This is what we would like. So Lexio can help us do that. It can... It can um, structure our prayerful listening to scripture in a way that is ordering us toward the very intention of Holy Scripture. That is, these things are written that you might believe and believing have life in his name. That's what we would like. Can question? Yes. Uh, so the, the meditation is more of an active uh, and the contemplation is more of an inactive? Yes. Although not entirely. In, in, in neither one of them are entirely one or the other. But, but meditation is a more active engagement with the word and contemplation or contemplatio. Yeah. Any other questions? Yes. Yes, I have heard that contemplation was contemplation was coming from God. He gives it. Yes. You don't go by yourself. Yes, actually, that's that's the meaning and definition that ordinarily I stress and I prefer. <laughs> Traditionally, this is the word that's been used in Lexio Divina for centuries, <clears throat> and so it's too late for me to go back and correct everybody. <laughs> we just have to deal with the words as they are. But even today, the word contemplation has two meanings, and you really have to to hear it in context to decide what the person is saying. Sometimes the word contemplation is used synonymously with meditation. Some people mean the same thing by it. But uh, for many Catholic spiritual writers, contemplation is a is purely a gift from God, and it is something that we can receive and cooperate with. It's something that we cannot instigate. But in this case, contemplation is uh, or contemplatio is a waiting for. God's action. It is a waiting for this word to sink deep into us. But, but we do have an active component here, and, and we'll get to that in a moment. Any other questions or, or um, comments at this point? 